fright rags, horror apparel, and accessories. <laughs> if you're a horror fan, then Fright Rags is the place for you. Fright Rags has been bringing you the best in horror apparel and accessories since 2003. Officially licensed collections, including fan favorites such as Halloween, The Evil Dead, Creep Show, and tons more. No matter what type of horror you are into, Fright Rags has you covered head to toe. Offering a wide range of exclusive products from your favorite creature features, slasher flicks, and cult classics. Metal Hand of God listeners get 10% off when they use the code MHOG10 at the checkout. So don't miss out on your favorite horror apparel and accessories you can only get from Fright Rags. That's fright-rags.com. And remember, use MHOG10 at the checkout for 10% off your purchase at frightrags.com. <laughs> Welcome back to the Middle Hand of God podcast. I am your host, Wayne. And I am the wrong guy. And we are here to talk, to pump you up. <laughs> we, we sound absolutely nothing like them. No, I know, but uh, it, was, it was funny. Absolutely nothing at all. I don't even know why I did so, that. So, how is the world and what is up with you? Well, the world is uh, okay. Um, no, it's not. No, don't I, lie. No, the world is horrible. People are fighting. People are blowing stuff up. Uh, people are killing themselves, killing each other. Um, oh, it's just any given Tuesday. Everybody lives matters and all this bullshit that's going on. Oh, I shouldn't say that because I'll be racist. And uh, I can't, you know, just it's a whole lot of nuts nonsense going on right now. It's a bunch of shit right now. I know it's, you know, everybody's got, um, you know, there's, there's a, there's, you know, it's, it's just shit that should have been resolved a long time ago that hasn't been resolved yet, and it's, it's just a. But I think a lot of the world is just taking it past the point of common sense. You know, yes. This. But on that note, that's why you have the <laughs> MHOG podcast. I was like, on that note, what, man? You paused too long. I was like, what? What the fuck is he No, no, the pause was, it was supposed to be too long. You ruined it. My bad. My bad. You ruined everything. I do. A lot of people say that. You <laughs> <laughs> So, um, mm -hmm. as you know, I was uh, in a uh, little bit of a <laughs> I know mishap. This. I know. Yeah. This. No one else. Does. I went flying through the air in in, in Wilmington at an intersection, uh, which sucked ass. And uh, you the, always uh, said you were truck. you were one of the Duke boys, and I just never believed it till now. I was, and uh, you know, car you know cars pull out in front of you, and then uh, that car hits another car, and which hits another car, which hits a bike. Which makes us be flying at 55 miles an hour, which no direction to go except for left, which is over a median, and then across four lanes of traffic into the uh, college, uh, front of the college uh, yard, near the UNCW. All right. And, yeah, so, uh, so flying through the air, as you know, uh, one of my favorite things to think about is I'm flying through the air. And uh, we landed, yeah. and then the uh, tell me the truck stopped. Tell me, tell me the guy who came to repair the truck. His name yes. was Cooter. That'd be awesome if it was Cooter. <laughs> It'd be great if you like pulled up and and like you looked at his name tag and it said Cooter. Yeah, I, I, I didn't actually ask his name. He was like, "Oh man, I got this." He said, uh, "I said, what's what's why isn't it moving?" He said, "Well, your your transmission lock is on, and we got to get in there and pop it real quick." like oh okay cool now i know where it's at now i can do it so that's cool hopefully i don't have to do it ever again because that sucked ass and then uh just don't jump things. yeah man that, there's a lot of people hurt i bet you know, dude I'm glad, I bet. I'm glad we weren't in that mesh of uh shit of, in the middle of the street uh, of hurt people yeah 
Yeah, we don't need any of that. I'm glad you weren't hurt either, like severely at least. Well, I think I think mentally, you know, and um, you know, maybe a little bit of uh, you know, my feelings were hurt. Did you say mentally? You said mentally. Mentally, and my feelings were hurt a little bit. I think I have news for you, buddy. Mm. You've been mentally hurt for years. (laughs) (laughs) Apparently, because I'm still talking to you. I know. I know we're in the same we're in the same wing of the same sanitarium. Yeah, for real, the M H O G wing. <laughs> it's a good wing than to that, be man. It's it's been a it's been a fucking week, and I'm I'm tired of it. But on the plus side, I hear you're actually exploring some some shows on TV that you've never seen before. Yeah, man, I've been watching a lot of uh, different things. Um, but one of the ones I've gotten like a. Uh, hooked to is this uh, show Eureka um, and man I wish I'd have watched this when it was out it's fun man it was a really good show it's it's a weird show like this is this is how I when when someone asked me about the show like what is the show it's mm-hmm. it's Andy Griffith meets the X-Files yeah it's a little bit like that I mean it, that's the best way to describe this show because it's sure. quirky, it's funny, it's about a, a sheriff in a little town, and it's mm-hmm. like weird shit happening with the government and all this other stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. It was a good show. I enjoyed it. I actually wouldn't mind going back watching it again. It was, it was, it's been a long time since I've seen you it. You should, man. I, you should, because like I'm on season three right now, mm-hmm. and I'm kind of disappointed that there's only five seasons. Well, I tell you what, it doesn't leave you hanging. Okay, so it doesn't. It, 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 there's no fucking stupid it cliss. Okay, thank God. No, it, it will resolve, and I think it's it was good. It, it turned out well. But uh, I'm, I am shows on, that uh, do that, that don't fucking I, finish, and you're just sitting there going, Oh, I hate it. What happened? Yeah. You know, and it's never yeah, I, I, You I, never know. Fucking, what was that? Uh, the, 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 the fucking, like, Lost and... No, and, Lost uh, finished. Lost finished. It finished but it, well, but kind lo- of. Finished. Lost finished, but it still left you like, what the fuck? <laughs> what about Heroes? Heroes ended. Hero, heroes never, never, they tried to come back with like a fourth season or something to finish it off. Or I, I don't I don't remember exactly what happened with that show. But it, it just it, stopped. It stopped, and then all of a sudden they tried to bring it back and it didn't work. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a show called The Guild. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, I know the guild. Yeah, yeah, that never ended. Like that that no. was only one season and then we never know what happened to those characters. That was actually kind of funny. I enjoyed that show. I'd never seen it before and it was kind of cool. I enjoyed that. You know the the, the first and I'm going to throw back I'm going to call back a show. I'm calling back on an old episode when Adam was on it that uh that uh the show did that to me. It was the first time a show really did that to me was Bunheads. I don't even know what that is. Bunheads was a show about. Uh, I do remember you and Adam talking about it, but I don't remember what that was. It about. was a. It was a. It was funny. It was quirky. It was about a woman who was a dancer, and her mom uh, ran a school for. Uh, she was like a Broadway dancer and yeah, like yeah. burlesque dancer. Well, she ended up having to teach her mom's school in this weird small town, and it was girl drama, and it was weird, but it was fun. You know, it was like, oh, this is kind of enjoyable. It's kind of funny, because the woman that played the main character was just absolutely hysterical. Yeah. Like, oh, so I can watch this, but it just ended like, like it was like going to go to the next show, and it didn't happen. But Yeah, uh, I mean, this is a few that have done that to me, man. Like, uh, there was a show, I can't remember the name of it now. Oh, fuck. But it only had one season, and it was very cool. It was like they... Uh, trying to remember the what what the premise was but basically it was like they went back in time to build civilization again because the future of our planet was destroyed so they sent they went back in time all the way back oh they didn't have had uh, will from will and grace in it uh did it i don't remember what prehistoric had like fucking uh dinosaurs and shit and they lived in this big okay no that's a different show yeah and and like it was very very cool like it was a very cool show and i was all up into it but they only had one season of it utopia was, no i don't think it was utopia i, don't I know what you're talking about but i can't remember the actual name of it it's, right? it's a word like utopia yeah it is it is it's like a single it was the single title but i can't remember what it's called but that was a really good show too and i enjoyed the fuck out of that 
Uh, it's, it was very Land of the Lost-ish. Right, but it was fun. They yeah, it was have... like Land of the Lost miss, uh, mixed with Hunger Games. That, and I thought a little bit of uh, like uh, Stargate. Yeah, a little Stargate-ish, yeah. See that. But, you know. Well, we're exciting. This is great. We've, so we're, you know, it's all still doing our quarantine shit. No, and, no, uh, not really. Not out here. Uh, I mean, it's still here. Uh, cases here rose. Uh, we uh, qu- uh, quadrupled in cases in North Carolina. Wow. Nice. Yeah. We have, yeah, uh, we have flat. Hey, everybody, guess what? That shit's still out there. I don't care if you're <laughs> on is. vacation or not. It is. It's fucking going up. So I'm still walking around with my fucking mask on. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I go around with masks so, uh, we're, we're all day long at work and mm-hmm. everything. You know, I don't. Well, you, gotta, you, you wear one there anyway, usually. Uh, night. No, I mean, we wear them when we're fucking doing surgeries right. and things like that. But, sure. But, I mean, now we have to wear them all day. But we've gone, I've gone into finally got to go to a couple uh, restaurants and sit inside, which is Ooh. it's cool. But I mean, it's like you know half the table or less than half the tables are in there. Well, my thing so, with my thing with that is is like okay, yeah, it's cool. I can go sit down. You know, it's cool like that. But do I really want to eat off of that silverware? Why well, they do wash it, dude? I understand. I understand that. But it's just it, you know it's just one of those things. It's 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 back in the it's in the back of my head. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I know they clean things and I know everything is sterilized and all that good shit. But it's still in the back of my head. I'm like, ah, do I really want? You to still ate in those restaurants before? Are you still worried about silverware? I know, right? It's so weird. So it's so weird, dude. I told no, you. I, I'm I, telling you. I, I, I had a, a I had a good uh, couple good meals and it was it was very nice. It was. And rum is gone. Couple of good meals that were very nice. Then rum disappeared. He don't want to tell you about it. He don't want to tell you about it. Oh, rum, 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 rum. Don't care. He don't care about you. Back. Oh, and there he goes. And there he is. Ladies I'm and back. Gentlemen. And I'm going to leave that in, me singing about rum. Because it was really funny. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> I'm so back. But anyway, yeah, it's it's my. Uh, How were those uh, meals? To be able to... You said they were good. Those meals were great, and then and it was like, eh. and that it was, was it was it was nice went. to go to a few places and actually sit down for a change instead of getting takeout all the time. Yeah. Plus, uh, I'd need to think about that because it's my anniversary this week, so I gotta Ooh, figure something out. Ooh, uh, what are you youngsters making? Forty-eight years. <laughs> yeah, you're funny, dude. <laughs> I, I don't even fucking know. It was like 15, 16? No, 15 I, was last year, wasn't fuck, it? Fuck, I don't know. I don't, I don't, goddamn, I don't, man, I don't know. I think it was. I think, I think if I can remember what, you can't we, remember ce- anything, what we celebrated dude. last year, I think y'all were at 15. You, know, you have Alzheimer's. You can't remember anything. Yeah, but y'all were you like. You don't realize we just had this conversation? Yeah. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> y'all were married, like, I mean, y'all were together for like how many years before you were married, though? Like Three? three? Three, four, yeah. somewhere in there? Okay, yeah. yeah. So yeah. technically, you guys are probably at like almost 20 years together. You know? Just well, saying. Let's see. Let, me, let me do math real quick. <laughs> don't, <laughs> look, you were just in a wreck. Don't hurt yourself. Seven, Any more than you were. Seven, 17. Uh, 23 years. Yeah, see, years. I was close. I was close, man. See? Yeah. 23 years <laughs> of, of erotic bliss. Erotic bliss. You hear yeah. that, ladies and gentlemen? Erotic bliss. Erotic bliss. That means which is also the name of my new album. <laughs> that means that means strap-ons and KY. <laughs> that's what happens when you reach twenty-five years, buddy. So you better be ready. No, that's I think twenty-five years is ten. Is it ten? Paper. I can I always get that confused. I don't fucking know. I, I think I think uh, sixty-eight years is strap-on. Oh, okay. All right, all right. My bad. My yeah. bad. I was getting your age confused with the years y'all were married. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucker. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I thought so. I thought it was good. I am so glad to be back on the show. Are you? I don't know. Could've no, fooled, at this point. Could have fooled me. <laughs> you haven't been gone, really. You missed one episode. I know, it just feels like forever. 
Well, it's been forever we've reco- recorded because we've had so much stupid shit go on lately because of the uh, the hurricane and then uh, doing some other shit. And it was it was a bunch of hoot nanny going on. Spe- speaking of hurricane, I mean, we've got we're in season now, man. It's coming. This yeah, shit's going to happen. I know. I already got one. Like we had the yeah. tropical storm that was pretty. It wasn't I- horrible. I did, it, it, it was a lot of rain. Yeah, we had a good bit of rain. I mean, it was off and on all day. You know what I mean? Like, and it wasn't like little spit rain. It was like, <laughs> and it stopped. It <laughs> stopped. You know. Yeah. Well, you know, with hurricane season and everything, uh, this is this is what's going to suck with we got this pandemic and shit, and everybody's without jobs, or a lot well, of people well, without jobs, a lot of people blew through their <laughs> savings, and there's no money to. Go anywhere. But, here, if you but here's the thing. It's like not even even if you want to go somewhere, where the fuck are you gonna go? Everybody's yeah. closed. Are these closed? Uh, so the hotels are open at fifty percent capacity, so uh, half of us will survive. <laughs> calling calling the herd, buddy. Calling, calling the, the herd. herd. <laughs> that's what it is. That's what MHOG is all about. Calling yeah. herds. Yeah, that's what we're all about. Yeah. So. Good news is is I'm on the new station for us. The the well, I don't know what that means. Studio has gotten mm-hmm. a big upgrade. So we got the the new computer thanks to Adam helping mm-hmm. me out and also thanks to Ryan for helping me out. Uh we got the new the new computer all situated. Um so we we're, we're we're running fast now. We're running good. So we'll be able to do a lot more things uh, with the MHOG now, guys. So well, there we have it. That's, be that's ready. Amazing. Be ready. You know what month is this? It's June. I don't even know what month it is, dude. This is how long we've been fucked up over here. Yeah, I know, man. It's June. June, buddy. And that's right. Anniversary. Month. Anniversary, June. man. Anniversary. Yeah. What's in June? Oh, there, there's not a lot going on in June, is it? No. No. Oh. There is something cool going on. Babylon has reopened. Ooh, sweet. And we are booking Saturdays only. Okay. So we have the first three Saturdays uh, are booked already. I got, I already got them booked up, man. Um, uh, by the time this airs, the first Saturday will be over, I'm sure. Uh, but first Saturday is uh, got the band sounding Raccoon City Massacres on there and uh, uh, Cydonia. Those bands are, are playing really good bands. Sounding is unfucking believable and Raccoon City Massacre is like um metal with um video game drops in it. Very cool shit. Oh, cool. Yeah, cuz Rac- you know what Raccoon City's from, right? It's from- yeah, who doesn't? Oh, come on. It's from Resident Evil. I know. Uh-huh. <laughs> you and your lion voice. Um I know. <laughs> and then um the Screech is playing the, sat- the the following Saturday on the 20th. I don't have anybody else with them yet. And uh, the 27th is Zero Herd and um, Green Gasoline. So really good lineup so far yeah, on, on these really shows. Lineup, and, yeah. um, you know, I'm excited. I, I think you need to uh, – who, who's, who's playing with the Screech? No one yet. Oh, you should get the Zack. Uh, the Zack. Yeah. Zack Morris? But yeah, no, the, the, the Zach. Oh, I get Zach it. Attack. I get it now. <laughs> the, the, the Zach, oh, dude. you stu- you're so stupid. It took me a few minutes to understand what you were talking about. You asshole. Oh, uh, well, oh, my. Should be, maybe you should clarify it for the rest of the world. Oh, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. It, you guys think about it for a minute. It's, it's a, you saved know, by the bell. yeah, it's a say by the bell reference. So bad. So bad. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Adam's over there giggling, going, "Uh huh, I got it right off the back, you assholes." Uh huh. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Well, man. that's good, man. Babylon rocking and rolling. We're yeah, getting, getting back, back here. Getting back to them. We're only booking Saturdays for now, though, until you know we get the okay to be full capacity and all that good shit. So it's still, sure. it's still slow, still baby steps, but you know, at least it's something. We got some live music going now. Uh, that, that's 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 a, what's been hurting a lot for a lot of people. It's been the the live music venues and the, and the musicians. I yeah. mean, uh, they've just been waiting to do something, and there's only so much 
live streaming you can do to have your band play. Yeah, you know I mean? that it was just one of the funniest. That, well. that was one of the funniest things. One of the funniest posts I've seen is uh, one of the guys from uh, Joe from Sounding uh, posted the the invite page. You know, like the um, the you know the the event page for it and the first thing someone posted was, is this are you guys live streaming this or you know blah blah he goes no this is not live stream this is a real show come out show up <laughs> it was great it was great people were like one guy put oh my god is this real are you guys fucking with me <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be a good one man it's gonna be fun i think it it's gonna it's sounding good it sounds like it's going to be great. Yeah, they're still not doing that up here yet. They're still not doing anything live music venues or anything like that yeah. or any bars having gigs. Uh, like I said, they're just uh, everything's just we're at 50 percent capacity. And that's kind of teetering right now because how, how many cases we've got uh, inflamed here in, in North Carolina that have just jumped like crazy because everybody from other states are coming here for vacation. And it's just, uh, you know, we appreciate them. You know, hey, Taurus, that's fun and all. But. Uh, it's not over, you know, don't right. walk around and, you know, you know, social distancing does not mean, you know, groups of 50 in a 10 foot area. Uh, know? exactly, exactly. I, I completely agree with you on that one, dude. Like people, I'm just like, what the fuck, man? Uh, the guy I, I went, I went in the store today, uh, with Amy when we were up in Wilmington and I, you know, I had put my mask up, I, you know, and I, I have a mask on, I'm walking in. And a uh, guy looked at me and was standing there. And he looks at me again. He goes, dude, what are you even wearing that mask for? I said, because the shit's still going on. And idiots like you don't, <laughs> don't, don't seem to realize it's still happening. Exactly. He's like, well, everything's happening. Like, it's because fucking greed, dude. <laughs> it's still greed. I said, I said we, we quadrupled in our cases, you know, and, and people are sick. We're have people back on ventilators again. The fucking hospital is slammed. Oh, yeah. well, I just came to, to Costco to get cheetahs. <laughs> I don't fucking care why you're here. You're an idiot. Get your mask on, you tard. It's like, uh, everybody else has masks on. You're just walking around with your thumb up your ass going, I don't understand why everybody's covering your faces. Because they're dumb. Because they're, they saw you and they're like, oh, hide. <laughs> <laughs> We all look like we're going to rob the place. Everybody's walking around in different masks. And some people got crazy and have cute masks. Some look like little bunny faces and some look like cats and some look like monsters. And, you know, I just walked around, you know, with my hat and my glasses and my, and my neck gator. You know, there's the full gators like for riding motorcycles. Uh-huh. And I'm walking around looking like a guy from Peaky Blinders. You know, I've, that's a show I've always wanted to watch and never did. That's all right. You won't like it. Why? Because you won't understand their accent. Look, if I can talk to Mart, I can listen to any you, accent. You, you'd only understand about like 33% of what he says. That's okay. No, no. See, you'll, you'll miss the nuances of the show. Nah. That's why you don't watch BBC. I do watch the BBC, but I don't watch You don't watch the BBC. I, I don't sit. You, you I don't barely sit, spell BBC. I don't, I don't sit there. <laughs> I don't sit there and watch it like you. Like study I like the BBC shit, but, yeah. but I but I do like watch. I'm watching a show right now called Endeavor, uh-huh. which is a very very good show. It's a it's a it's a cop show. Cool. Uh, really dig it. Takes place every year is a different like it starts off in like 1965. Next year, it's, you know, it, it goes by progression each season until they get into the 70s. Uh, so things are changed, but it's a really really good kind of psychological thriller show, which I like those. And uh, but yeah, I was, I was sitting there going, man, this is really good. Oh, he'll hate this. He wouldn't watch this. I, it's like I, I watch that show from New Zealand because I I can understand them, and you'd be like, I don't fucking know what they're saying. I would you know, never so. act like that. I would not do that. Come on, <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. I would listen to it. I'd check it out. But you see, I don't know <laughs> what shows or where you catch this shit at. Like you're you're always like looking at shit on YouTube, and I don't watch YouTube, man. I don't. I won't, I don't even know what YouTube is. What's a YouTube? You're so is it stupid. is it on the interweb? You know, no, I just I don't watch the stuff on YouTube. I have uh, I what I have uh, Acorn. I've got BritBox, uh, Amazon Prime. Do you, do you pay for BritBox or is that free? No, I pay for BritBox. See, I, I didn't know. No, I didn't know if it was free or not. That's what I'm asking. That's no, I no, I pay sure. for it. It's uh, uh, it's, it's something stupid like four four bucks a month or something. I guess I pay for it. 
yeah, that's just kind of like what, well, that's what I do with my, uh, uh, Shudder. Like, I really like Shudder. Shudder's like the horror movie Netflix. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you introduced me to that, because I, I really was digging I actually watched an entire season of a show on there. You liked it, right? It was good stuff. Which yeah. one, which show did it you was. watch? Uh, A Discovery of Witches. Oh, yeah, I, I was, I was supposed to be watching that too, but I never got to watch it yet. Really cool, really good. I recognize the, the, the leads in that show from something else, but I can't place it, so I just haven't looked them up yet, but yeah, I watched the first season. It was really, really good. Uh, the, some of the movies on there are really cool. Like they're they're just there's one on there called uh, uh, the Siren. It's a it's a really cool premise to a movie. It's a it's a uh, about a deaf guy who goes on a camping trip by himself to get away from the world that treating him like he's something weird because he's deaf. You know, everybody's yelling at him or signing badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I need to get out of here. He's, he gets a little cabin on the water. And uh, he keeps seeing this woman who's swimming across the lake. And he's, they're slowly starting to hit it off. But she's not really a woman. She's the siren. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. That's cool. So it's a really cool thing. So it's like a one-sided conversation movie. But he's a really good actor. So it, it, it really – there's a lot of great movies on there, though, man. I'm, I'm really glad you introduced me to it. Yeah, like, um, there's a, I really started getting into the Nosferatu, uh, yeah, series it's, on uh, there. Yeah, with fucking, uh, the bad Spock. Yeah, with Spock in it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he actually was in Heroes, too. Yeah, um, and Heroes, and he, he actually does, uh, the, uh, thing that, uh, Leonard Nimoy used to do with the science program. I don't know what that is. But anyway, I watched, um, yeah, I watched, I've seen him, the first time I ever saw him in anything was, was Heroes. And then, then the second thing I saw him in was um, Star Trek. No, I don't think it was Star Trek. It was uh, American Horror Story. I think was the second thing. And then I saw him. In Star, I think Star Trek. I don't know. Uh, I don't know which one came first. It might have been Star Trek, but he's okay. He, but everything he he everything he's in, he's he's he's, he's a Duchovny. Everything he in, he's in. He's just him. He, he he's not really acting. He's just talking. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I mean, There's no act. He's not so much an actor as he is a. Guy who delivers lines. Right, right. Yeah, I agree. I agree. He sounds like Spock. Yes. Everything he does, he does. He's like Spock. And in in Nosferatu, he's Spock that's having a bad day. <laughs> he's angry Spock. Yes. Yes. But but it's still. What is good. his name? Quentin Zachary, I think is it is Zachary. Quinto? Zachary Quinto. That's it. Yeah, that's him. Zachary Quinto. Yeah. Yeah. Which I loved his subs. Oh, that's Quiznos. Never mind. Zachary Quiznos. <laughs> I just noticed, man. Um, uh, I mean, Guar mentioned this in their news feed today. That was pretty cool. Oh, that is nice. Thank you very much, guys. We we really enjoy having one of you guys on our show once in a while. It's I'm so upset awesome. I missed that show with with uh, Jismac. Oh, dude, love Jismac. Yeah, that dude was incredible. Uh, if get a chance, go sit down and listen to the episode. It's up now. Uh, he mentions you uh, a few times and he's angry with you because because <laughs> you gave him the B team and not even the full team, you know, <laughs> <laughs> he he's uh, yeah, he's uh, he's definitely a character for sure. It was a good episode. Uh, th- thank you, Vernon, for uh, doing that show, man. It was really cool of you stepping in when Rum was uh, yeah, Vern. Rum, Rum was dealing with his illness. Um, but we got you back and I'm glad you're okay and, uh, we're getting better and we're going to keep on rolling with this shit. Keep on doing what we do. That's what we do. And we've got so much stuff coming up. Yeah, uh, man. We've got some more, uh, little shorts coming up, yep, uh, in the future. We've got another, uh, working on, uh, another ghost grabbers, yep, uh, yep. our new, uh, late night, re- uh, drops, uh, you grab those ghost, uh, grabbers yeah, episodes. And, uh, if y'all haven't you know, noticed something... ghost grabbers comes out, uh, on Friday nights, uh, usually about eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. We yeah. doing that on purpose. We did that where it's kind of like a, uh, an evening, you know, like an evening TV show that you watch. Sure, it's it's like uh, right like what your grandparents or great grandparents did when they sat around the radio and listened right. to a show. Right, and that's kind of what we want. Yeah, we're doing to that do. for you, but we're doing that with Ghost Grabbers. Uh, we are going to have um, an interesting person join us on Ghost Grabbers. Do a few episodes mm-hmm. with us. That's going to be fun. And and we do more than ghosts. Like as as the first episode is, uh, talks about. Uh, well, it's actually the first 
the first talking episode. We did a Ghost Grabbers. Um, we did a uh, the Halloween episode we did uh, last uh, October was a Ghost Grabbers. Right, it, it was a musical thing. But and we also, uh, but that was also with like, uh, um, like clips of accounts of people who called in with um, alien abduction stories and things like that. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool show. I, I just got invited. Uh, Toxic Flames. Who is Toxic Flames? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> it's uh, bizarre right now. It's like, hey, Toxic Flames. I'm in the middle of a show right now. but uh... Somebody hit you up on, <laughs> on uh, <laughs> Skype. was like, what's up, yo? I don't even know who you yeah. are. Too bad, too bad we can't fuck with him and add him to the show. We should. I should find out where this guy <laughs> is. <laughs> You know, it'd be funny. It'd be like, hey, man, I got a new invitation. Let me see what it says. Oh, God. This is great. Uh, Toxic Flames. Uh -huh. 870. Um, oh, I can't add him. Oh, here, I'm going to respond to him while I'm talking to you real quick. <laughs> hey, man, are you are you on? Hey, man. Hold on a second. Hey man, are you there? <laughs> All right, well, I can't get a hold of Toxic Flames right now. Oh well, that's okay. That's all right. Was that like that was a I, friend request or some shit on? on oh, uh, he's a, 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 a friend of the show. Wanted to know if uh, he listens to the show. Wanted to know if I wanted to play Black Ops with him. That's fucking cool. Tell him yes, and tell him uh, why don't you come on the show? Why don't you be a guest on the show and come in and talk a little bit? That'd be funny. But uh, anyway, well, yeah, we got a lot going on. Sorry about that. It was just bizarre. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's going to be an interesting, uh, this Ghost Grabbers thing is kind of fun. And uh, But uh, lots, of, lots of fun stuff. Uh, yeah. With this new computer, the, uh, uh, oh, be, he we'll, left my party. We'll, we, we'll be okay. doing, we'll, we'll be doing some, um, uh, some video stuff. So stuff, since I yeah. have the new computer, I have room to do things like that. I can edit uh, videos now and, and do things like that. So I'll be able to do what we wanted to do prior. Uh, we got this project we've been working on, but we still we still need to wait till it gets completely safe for us to, you know, uh, mingle with others. And uh, we got a we got we got a really cool thing coming that's going to be um, attached to and with the guys from Pete. The two guys from two two of the guys from Pete, so that'll be fun. Sure, it's a skateboard thing, by the way, guys. I know it's kind of weird for us, but no, we like skateboards. It's fun. I do. Wayne likes skateboards. I do at yeah. least. Rum, Rum likes. He, to he was a huge skate guy. Yeah, yeah, I was back in the day. Yeah, I, I skated for about twenty five years. So yeah. I had I had a skateboard. One. <laughs> it was Back to the Future skateboard. Um, oh, you had the fucking the the terrible Back to the Future skateboard. Yes, the one that actually had like the DeLorean on the bottom with. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I had that. That That's was, awesome. That's that was awesome. a birthday gift. But uh, funny enough, there was no place for me in the country to skateboard. It was dirt. Oh yeah, dirt forget, roads, yeah, you, gravel. You just, see, you you made uh, it into a hoverboard and just stood on it. I stood in the living room or in my bedroom <laughs> and moved back and forth a lot. <laughs> Well, that's why you didn't skate because you didn't have the rooms like I did. Right. Like yeah. you know, I mean, me and the guys that I skated with, um, uh, we had like we would leave, wake up early in the morning on Saturday and grab our boards, and if we're not skating on the the half pipe I had in my backyard, we'd go mm -hmm. street skate, which would be start off like at the little school right next to us, right here. And then we travel. I mean, dude, we went from my house to like, oh god, I, like I, I could say a good twenty miles away on skateboards. Man. And you, you, you walk some of that too? Uh, some, yeah. Wow. But we skated most of it. You know, we skated down bridges, like shit we weren't supposed to do. <laughs> I, I skated. I skated in uh, Toys R Us, and uh, I knocked over all the bicycles. That's funny. Yeah, that that was the last time I was on a skateboard. Amy told me, "Don't get on the skateboard." I was like, "I can do it." I had a skateboard. 
It was like, yes, but you didn't skateboard. You just kind of stood on it like a surfer who just leans on his board near the ocean. That was me. That's funny. And, uh, I, I skated right into the bicycles and knocked them all over. It was right around Christmas time. The guy was really pissed. I bet. I bet. And he was like, I just put all those up. Ooh. And I was like, I just knocked them down. Ooh. <laughs> That was, you know, a skateboard attitude. Yeah, I mean, like, completely. Throw down. Well, you got to have a skateboard attitude. Well, at least you do. You do. I mean, honestly, we 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 were. You were jackasses. We had we had some of us had that attitude. You know, I mean, not all of us. We weren't bad kids. Um, yes, you were. But not really. I mean, we did do some crazy shit. I mean, I. Because you're bad kids. Let's see. We. I can I can say all this stuff now. I mean, th- we're old, and it happened like 20 years ago. Uh, a friend of mine, we were skating one night over by the doctor's office right here down the road. I still have the video somewhere on cassette, like on um, video tape, <laughs> someplace. Mm-hmm. Well, What's a videotape? Yeah, exactly. I'm filming him, and uh, he ollies up on this ledge that's right by the glass window. Mm-hmm. Slips, <laughs> the, his board goes right through the window. Boosh! And it comes down, and all I hear is, you see the you see the the board go in, the glass break, and then the, all of a sudden the, the the camera goes down and starts shaking, and you hear, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> and we haul an ass out of there. Uh, he gets board back though. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, yeah. We went vandals. We skated in the malls. We skated, um, like before the mall was torn down, you know. Yeah. Um, What's a mall? You're so dumb. Uh, what <laughs> else? Uh, we did all kind of stuff, man. I mean, we 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 weren't horrible, but we didn't give a fuck. Like we rode off of roofs on skateboards. Uh, yeah, you know? man, you were you were bad, man. You're like the tri- you're like triple X. No, you know, like Vin Diesel. We were we were like I, I always say this. We were like jackass before jackass because we did fucking stupid shit. I got you. You know, a buddy of mine would he ate a raw crawfish that was still alive. Um, you know, that seems like a bad idea. Yeah, it was. It was not a good idea. Um, you know, we did things like that. Mm, Set each other on crawfish. Set them on fire. Yeah, I've set things on fire and people. So that's always (laughs) kind of fun. Um, what else we did? I accidentally set that cow on fire. Yeah, you did. You did. We poured, listen to this, this is funny. We had two ramps set up in my friend's backyard. My friend, who is now on the TV show Gold Rush, uh, owned the, his parents owned this house. And, um, of course, I'm not going to mention his name because, you know, this, this is... Zach- Zachary Quinto. Exactly. Uh, so, <laughs> we were sitting in the back and one of our other friends decided, you know what, let's ride back and forth on the ramps. I said, okay, cool. So, we started riding back, doing tricks, you know, just... This and that. And he goes, you know what? I got an idea. I said, what? So he went and got gasoline. It's always good. It's always good when gas shows up. So he Mm. pours the gas, like a line of it, in between the two ramps. You know? And he So you could go through the fire. Right. So he skates through the fire. He's like, yeah, that was cool. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. So then his next thing was, watch this. He puts the gas in, you know, in the middle, lights it. Then he pours gas all over his skateboard and his feet. That was stupid. <laughs> and he did, proceeds to go through the fire and sets himself on fire. <laughs> we didn't start the fire. Yeah. So we had to save him. That was one. That was that was that was one yeah. thing. Uh, this right. is the same gentleman who threw a dead rat in the air and caught it in his mouth. Um, Zachary Quinto again? Yeah. No, no. Zachary Quinto is the one who went to. Uh, that's the fire. Who, who's on Gold Rush? <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. No, he wouldn't do that. Um, we did crazy yeah, stuff, though. The I mean, name did... of this episode is uh, Skate with Zachary Quinto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, the name the name of this episode is Skate or Die. That's the name of this episode. <laughs> but that no, was fun, man. I mean, we did we did crazy shit as kids. You know, I mean, we 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 did stuff. We we. I mean. The ramp. You, that you, was... doing, you were doing that sort of fun stuff. I was building shit. I was like, I built a car. Well, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I did that. See, and I, and I, I, built, don't have, you know... I don't have any knowledge on cars at all. My father wasn't a, wasn't a big car person. Like he didn't do that. I now, 
computers and things like that, I know a little bit more about because that's what my dad was into. You know what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. that's, that's what he that and music is what my dad was into and weed, but yeah. I didn't do the weed yeah. part. Cars for me, it was cars, music, and uh, alcohol. Learn making alcohol. So that's fun. That's cool. Yeah, we had stills and. See, that's neat. That sounds really cool. And, you know, my dad grew yeah. weed in the backyard, so. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> See, we were meant to be friends, man. You guys were doing illegal alcohol. We were doing. We had weed growing in the back. <laughs> I remember finding that fucking acreage of fucking marijuana when I was trekking through the woods. Somebody's stash, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I kept going back here and stealing leaves off of it. <laughs> Take them back to my house. Dry them up. It's like tobacco. Man, I didn't pay for weed for years. I guess not, motherfucker. Some would be like, where the fuck all my weed going? They had so much, dude. It was like, no joke. It was like a patch that was like uh, like the like the size of a football field in the middle of the woods. Oh, man, that's crazy. And there was nothing like around it. And there was nobody around there. You know, it was Zachary Quinto. It was a, is that fucking, that's who it was. It was fucking Zachary <laughs> Quinto. Know. Fucking growing weed. That's what he does, dude. He, you know, smoke and tote. You know, that's what he does. That's why, he, pass that's why he talks like he does. That's why he's always he's he started smoking when he played Spock and ever since then he's not been able to get out of it. You know, all that and the acid he does. Fucking hush. <laughs> Start starting these rumors about Zachary Quinto. Yeah. Oh well fuck him. Yeah. That's all right. He's famous. That's right. He he was completely high. That's why he opened up all those uh those sandwich shops. Right. I know. God. Fucking it all makes sense. You're so, though. you're so stupid. It's sandwich. Hey, I did get a I did get another movie in uh in in the mail the other day. I forgot to tell you that. Uh oh, which one did you I, get? I, I fin- did you watch the Bigfoot? Not yet. Uh, okay. I did finally get after like, you know, fifteen years or so, I finally got uh uh Under the Rainbow. Rainbow. Oh, About it, the midgets? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, that's actually, cool. I've, I, I, I've watched it before. Right? Yeah. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to own this movie. And, and you've wanted to own midgets. I know. You and, have this weird, creepy sexual fetish with midgets. No. It's a funny movie, and I enjoyed it. Um, uh-huh. With your pants got, up. It's got a... Uh, I, didn't, I didn't remember this, but it, it, Chevy Chase is in this movie. Like, yeah, I, he is. I, yeah, it's, he's like one of the main characters. I didn't remember that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've been wanting to get that one. And like I said, I want to get Bugsy Malone too. So that's the next one on my list. Everybody loves that man, Bugsy Malone. Love that movie. It was a good movie. That was awkward. That's why I, that's why I waited. I gave you that long pause that you wanted earlier in the show. Yeah, it was, it was just <laughs> awkward. Now that you did it now though. <laughs> huh. But, uh, yeah, fucking you're, you're, you you know, you gonna watch that under the rainbow when when the wife's not home, or what are you gonna do with that? I uh, know. Um, I'm just gonna watch it That's, one day. But I, I mean, are you, I mean, are you gonna watch it, or are you just gonna like, like, how far in do you think you'll get before you need to excuse yourself? You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. Oh, oh, that's why I love you, though. Oh. <laughs> You and your Man. weird obsession, dude. You have this weird midget obsession. I I really don't anymore. I did for a long time. You, I really did. I really had a. I, I know. I always wanted to like. Every time I saw a midget, I wanted to go talk to him, and I don't even know you, why. You almost said I really had a hard on for midgets. You almost no, said I didn't. that. I, you did. I yeah, I knew you were gonna say it. No, I didn't. I wasn't yeah. gonna say that. But no, really, I, I don't know what the deal was. Like, I always had this thing where I wanted to go talk to midgets and hang out with them and shit, and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> fucking no. hang out with the bitch. I just wanted to go hang with him, bro. I'm like, what's up, yo? I wanted to be the biggest dude in the room. <laughs> you wanted to be like, uh, fucking, what is that? The, with the story with the with the fucking Gull- tall guy Gull- in the land of tiny Gull- people. Gulliver's Travels. Gulliver, that's it. That's so fucking weird. I wanted dude. to walk into the room and pretend I was the big show from wrestling. It's the big show. <laughs> Ooh, ooh! You could you could get them all in the room and put them and put little white lab coats on them, and you could walk in like Godzilla and let them run around. Or, or I can dress them all as Oompa Loompas and me as fucking Willy Wonka. <laughs> That'd be great, man. 
And that would have been a great call if you could have got a couple of them to Oompa Loompa up, and you guys could have done a great uh, like costume party. Yeah, that would have been fun, cool. But I don't know any midgets, but that's okay. Ooh, you should dress like Willy Wonka this year for uh, Halloween and dress your kid up as an Oompa Loompa. That would be and funny. Carry him around. That would be That'd awesome. That would be funny, yeah. And Caitlin could dress up as one of the girls. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. She could be the blueberry girl. That would be really funny. That'd be really funny. That's awesome, man. I've got a little story for you. If you think that M Hog is good. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, I can't. You know Wayne likes midgets and sporting wood. <laughs> he is so stupid. <laughs> Getting drunk like Rom does. <laughs> we should do that. We should like, like, like get the theme to like the Oompa Loompa song and then rewrite it with, <laughs> with fucking lyrics that you and I make up about each other and the show. That would be really funny, and we can play that every once in a while. You know what time it is? <laughs> and we just play one verse, like. Like the uh, like the movie, you know how the movie has like seven different verses. They like after yeah. each kid disappears, you know. <laughs> sure. God, that would be uh, funny, dude. Is, that would be so good. That is so so bizarre, so bizarre. Yeah. Oh well, th- as bizarre as it gets, now we we've had a show with. Uh, uh, hello, buddy. What? Hey, you want to come see me? I got my little my little. My little Nikolai just came in. He's going to sit beside me on I, my pillow. I thought you yeah. were talking to your penis. But anyway. Hi, no, little, hi little buddy. You want to do a show with me? <laughs> I'm picturing you. I'm picturing you doing like dressing it up with like, with, well, like I, capes I, I and stuff. I have little costumes for it. Yeah, <laughs> I have costumes for it. <laughs> and then making it talk to Amy. It's. <laughs> it's You've never heard of cock play? <laughs> cock play. It's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's anniversary day. Here we go. <laughs> you dress it up as your favorite like movie star. <laughs> like look, look, it's Al Pacino. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that. Hello to my little friend. You don't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't want to do that. No, uh, that's a really bad idea. That's called. You know what that's called? That's called a divorce. The what? That's what that's called. It's called divorce. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. If you if you showed up with your dick dressed up, you should dip your balls in powder, like, <laughs> like um. Well, you're giving this way too much thought, dude. Like like Al Pacino <laughs> with the cocaine, you know. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> there's actually there's actually uh I forget what it's called, man, but there's a YouTube video of some dude who did that, like he would okay. take his scrotum. And and uh, or his balls, and he would do ball theater or testicle theater or some shit like that. Look it up; it's hysterical. Because he did something with um, he did the he did he did the cocaine thing with fucking Scarface. He did. A I'm, few. Not, I'm not. I'm not going to go look up some guy's balls. <laughs> I no, forget. What it was, and I don't know how it happened. Like. I forget. It was, maybe it was Adam that told me to look it. I don't remember who told me to look that up, but it was. I'm fucking sure. It was, I'm sure it was just you. No, just googling, as you do. But I didn't. You know. I didn't Google myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh it wasn't me. It was not me. <laughs> that, uh, you keep telling yourself that, man. It's okay. <sighs> well, guys, thank y'all for joining us on this show. I know it was kind of crazy and weird, but we actually were supposed to have a guest, and uh, since uh, Rum had an accident, uh, we decided to just reschedule him and uh um do one on our own so we we apologize to our guest we hope you know he un- i mean he understood and and he's my bad come back so but i'm glad you're okay dude really all seriousness Thank i'm you. glad you're all right man uh, i'm glad amy's okay sucks that everything yeah. else happened um glad yeah, the, glad the dog a... wasn't with you because that would have been bad for him yeah because he was gonna go with us when uh, we do have him he's he does have his car seat Right, but still, it's still dangerous, you know. I mean, you go flop. Yeah, for sure. Air, you know, yeah, with safety first, you know. Yeah, but but um, yeah, it was fun. I'm I'm glad we're doing this back, and I'm glad to be back on the show, and uh, you know, just uh, keep on keeping on. So, 
Yep. And uh, next show coming up, uh, we got our friend uh, Parrish coming back. Oh, on. very cool. Yeah, Parrish Randall, actor. Hey. You know, from uh, Circus of the Dead and many, 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 many more movies. He's been in so much stuff. Really good guy. Very smart on film. Very. Um, he, his knowledge of film is unbelievable. So he you'll see. Breathes it. You'll see. Uh, so anyway, um, I was Wayne. I am Rum. I remember to keep it, but, 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 but. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is this over? Is Are you, are you parting with such sweet sounds? Go ahead and run. Run home and cry to mama. Get the fuck out. Okay, then. That's it. <laughs>